But yeah, and when I arrived in uh, here, yeah, I came, actually came a week after Darwin, and everyone would ask me, can you speak their language? And I'm like, yeah. And like, can you really? I'm like, yeah. And they're like always asking me if I can speak the language, and I was like, what's it called? And I'm like, Nepalese. And I'd say to everyone, but then after I got born, so then I was, what language is it? So I'd say Neapolitan. I speak strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. And then <laughs> yeah, because everyone can relate to ice cream. Look, we got them, they looked up to me, he's the chocolate man, love him, love that guy. So yeah, that's a bit about ourselves. Now for the next part, we thought we'd bring up a special guest. Yeah, that's right. Here at Whit Sunday, we're host to many teachers with different talents, but this one in particular, her laugh is now known as the eighth wonder of the world. So, could you, we had to show you for you to believe. So, could you please make welcome, Miss Krauss. Now, Miss Kratz actually does not have any idea what we're going to do with her. Okay, so, um, Miss Kratz, we wanted to ask you a serious question. Yeah. Look, everyone's been thinking it, he's been thinking it, she's been thinking it. We just, we just have the courage to say it. Yeah, no, it's on all of our minds, and clearly that guy right there is definitely thinking it. Alright, so Miss Kratz, <clears throat> in your wisdom you've gathered over the years, in your professionalism, what is your opinion on the current social economical standing of the Czech Republic and their their influence on the free world? <laughs> Look, we don't want the opinion of Julia Gillard, Tony Abbott, or even Mr. Blair for that matter. No we want Miss Kraut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Short guys, you have been a great audience. Yeah, I'm not so sure. No, did you not understand? I said they've been a great audience. They're not that great. Look, so I can see two people over there who are basically asleep. Oh. <laughs> well, other than that, anyway, to prove Darwin wrong, because he's always wrong, he's never been right, at the end, when we get off stage, there's gonna be a song. I would like all of you, every single one of you, even your, if you're asleep, stand up asleep, please. Get up and, you know, do a bit of a jig. Just at least clap your hands, okay? But before we do that, there's just one thing I have to do. I've always wanted to throw a hat into the audience. So, um, let's oh, here we go. Ready? Yes! Keep on it. Music, please. 